Hi, in this video, we're going to cover the PowerPoint assignment for Lakewood Community Pool. Okay, let's begin. First of all, so I have the, the requirements um, document. I downloaded that as well as I downloaded the um, PowerPoint presentation from Cengage. Please use the PowerPoint presentation that has that is, uh, been allocated to your account. Please use that file and that file only. Do not use another file you find on the internet nor from another learner. Okay, so we have the files. Let's begin. I'm going to refer to the business requirements document a couple times. There's a lot, there's a lot of, a lot of stuff in here. So, okay. So first of all, um, we're gonna, we're gonna, basically, we're gonna enhance this presentation based upon the project steps. We're gonna, I'm gonna first of all, it wants us to go to the the first title page and change the font, font color, and do some bolding of the text. We're gonna go here. We're gonna highlight Lakewood Community Pool. And I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to choose four five by the um, blue accent dark 25%. And I'm going to change this font to times. And we've done this before Microsoft Word, you know, Microsoft PowerPoint. Um, I'm sorry, Microsoft Excel. So nothing nothing new here. The, the nice thing about the um, Microsoft platforms is they're all pretty much set up the same way as far as changing fonts and colors and whatnot. Makes it easy, you know, to learn. And so here we go, Lakewood Community Pool, and I'm going to highlight the subtitle here, <clears throat> and I'll click on the box here. By doing that, I could just simply click bold, and it bolts the text. Okay, very good. So I'm going to go to the second slide here. Let's hop back to the um, requirements here, and it says here it wants us to enter in some text here. Um, first level, uh, we're going to enter in a um, text here, alter minor facility. I'll go here. Add the text here. I'm, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna undo that. I'm gonna paste it as text. I'm gonna do paste specialized text so it keeps the same format. And it says here, add in the um, enter in the first, second, first level, and then uh, um, it says land donated by city. Copy paste, or you can type it in. Doesn't matter. I'm just gonna. I like to um, do the copy paste, paste special, copy here. Now it says here. Before we get to the third sentence here, adjacent to baseball field, we're going to copy this as a second level paragraph. So I'm going to copy the text. I'm going to, simple enough, I'm going to go here. I'm going to press enter, enter, copy the text. And I'm going to highlight it this time. I'm going to go and move it one. I'm going to move it one. I'm going to, you know, indent the level, so to speak. So there we go. So we done it. All right. Very good. So now, and you can, I recommend you save the file as you move along here. So, all right, let's look at what we got to do next here. And we're gonna um, we're gonna make the picture widen, okay, as shown here. All right, and we're gonna space it out. We we'll go here, and um, I click on the image. I'll click up here on the tab picture format. And it says here all the way to the right, it says height and width. It says width is 4.48. We're going to change this to 6.5. Very good. And then I'm going to drag it kind of in, indented here, right here, because it keeps it the same portion over here. Um, that's why those red lines appear. Notice when you drag the image, the red lines appear, because then it knows that this and this area here are the same. Notice one thing with the text. and. It asks you to do this later on in the in the steps. We can even do it as we go through the document. <clears throat> you can actually, um, if if PowerPoint doesn't recognize a word, it will highlight it in red as it says here, like a red underline. It doesn't understand what this word is. I'm going to right click on the word and it says concessions right here. Done. So there, I fixed that spelling of the word. All right, great. Now let's go back to our word document here. And we are on here. We'll go here, and um, it says here, enter. So we're going to enter this text here about the profits. But this time here, we're just going to we're going to control C, and it doesn't want it on this slide. What it wants to do is enter in a note. So how do we do that? The notes can be found underneath the slide. I'll right here where it says click to add notes. I'll copy and paste the text in there. So you can add notes to your slide and and whatnot, you know, maybe as you're presenting and whatnot, or for your reader as well, if you send them the file, okay? All right, very good. Let's go back here. And <coughs> all right, we're gonna change the text to phase two here. To phase, 
for here, phase two. And again, if I look over here to Word document, wants us to kind of copy some text here. Um, so we'll just simply do that. And you can type this in, whatever you're comfortable with doing. I, I just prefer a copy of paste so I can get it done here. And I'll do this. And the final bullet point on the um, on the slide deals with the picnic area. So I'll copy this text here. Right click and paste. And there we go. So we got our three bullet points, if you would now, nice more descriptions on that slide. Okay, so we'll go back. We're going to do something after slide on slide five. We're going to a couple of things here. We go to slide five. And it says here to change the layout to slide five. So let's go slide five here. And I'm going to go here. I'm going to do a right click on the slide. And it says layout. And I'm going to do, it says title and content. So we're going to change it to title and content. There we go. And then it says here, oh, designer came up. Now what happens sometimes you could just close that. It says here now you changed it. Make a copy of it. You know, insert a new slide. And then we're going to move it down to, um, to the last slide in our presentation. So we can, we, there are a few things we can do. We can even just, if you will, we'll, we'll follow the instructions. We'll insert a slide here. So we'll do step one. We'll do new slide. I can just do new slide title and content. There we go. But it wants you to move it down. So we'll move it down here. So now I got a new slide seven. You can see the slide numbers here on the far left of my screen. So now we got this new slide seven. It says here for slide seven, it says inner open spring 2021 it's a t it's a placeholder and then we're going to um, insert a picture so opening spring 2021 and when i want to insert a picture i could do a i guess i'm going to do insert pictures from this device and I'll go in and I will do download and here we go. And there's my picture. So now my picture appears and I again the designer comes up. So what does it <coughs> want us to do here? It wants you to um insert a picture here. It wants you to um size it. So let's go to Word. And it says here um to seven point five and it wants so it looks something like this, okay? Um, let's do here, and we'll do picture format, the width again, like we did before. Again, I got to click on the picture, so I click on the picture, the picture format tabs appears. I go to width, and I type in a 7.5. There we go, and then I could drag, kind of center it. Here as well, so there you go. So now let's go back to that slide six. And let's see what it says here. It says here, enter in the first paragraph here. Um, it says here, on the, you know, it's the swimming benefits gives swimming body workout. Copy that. And I'll do again pay special, but here, if I, I read ahead a little bit, it says here, notice what it says here. It says here, italicize the words total body workout in the first bullet. So we'll do that. So we're going to, again, I could just highlight some specific text in a bullet and click the italic icon here in the font tab here. Okay. And I'll go quick, quick press enter. And we'll do the next few bullets here. Now notice what it did, it did it italic because that was the last thing I, font design style I did. So we'll make it regular. All right, two more bullets and we should be good. Oh. 
since water offers resistance, so we'll put that here. Yep. Again, undo. I want to do my tax. Now, let's be careful here what it says here. Inner improves flexibility as a second level paragraph. So we'll do so we'll do improves flexibility here. I'll copy, I'll press enter, and again I'll do the paste the text. You can type it into as well. And I'll click here to move it. Notice how it indented at one. That's a second level paragraph. I'll press enter. For my final text here, it says reduces stress as a third level. So I'll click here, go back, and then again, I'll go and I'll indent it one more as the instruction said to do so. And there we go. So there you have it. So, <coughs> so again, you can go through the presentation, do all the spell checking, but that concludes this video on the Lakewood Community presentation. Thank you for watching this video.